guys, we're getting ready to take off up north, um, make sure we got everything. We are doing a, um, to start with, two week school holidays coaching tour, um, heading up to tracks, just slowly working our way up north Queensland. Um, so obviously with not too much racing going on, I want to still be around dirt bikes, still be training and riding. So I'll be doing demos at my schools, um, working on my skills and that sort of thing. Because it is off season, I'm not going to be motoring down too much. Um, just enough to keep myself sharp, work on some technique stuff, take my time to slowly work on techniques and try to perfect that while I'm doing my schools. Um, and then maybe a bit of coaching, a um, bit of riding, I mean, for myself in between. Um, so yeah, me and Michaela are going to be living out of the van uh, for the next few months, it looks like. Um, like proper living out of the van, not so much what we've been doing around North Queens, um, around home, I mean. Uh, we've sort of had places to stay and that sort of thing whereas we'll be proper living out of the van from now um, so this one I want to sort of run through what we're going to have in the van um, for that and sort of just how we're going to work it all so hope you enjoy this video um, I'm keen to get it all done and start doing some coaching and riding okay so keeping me riding for the whole time that we are away um, whether it's two months three months whatever it is on the road um, obviously you need to keep on top of the bike maintenance so number one in the back here, um, got a bunch of Motorex stuff, so brake cleaner, chain lube, WD-40, um, bit of brake fluid, greases, stuff like that, um, just to keep the bike running smoothly. And then on top of that, I've got for bike maintenance, rags, um, and then up in here I've got Raceline Pro Wash, keep the bike looking good, and then I got a heap of this from Motorex, um, just like Motor X four stroke oil, um, keep the engine fresh because I'll be doing probably a fair few hours by the time I do my demos at my schools and then hopefully a bit of my own sort of skill training. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing so much motos, but I want to be working on my technique and still trying to improve. So, yeah, be doing oil every three to five hours from there. Got a bunch of clean filters up here ready to go. I like to clean all my filters in one hit. I use a Motor X um, filter cleaning kit for that. So um, if I can do it all in one hit, then I don't have to worry about filters for a week or so, and that's awesome. Obviously, filters isn't the funnest job, so smash it out once a week and we'll be sweet. Other than that, I think that's pretty well it as far as bike maintenance goes because um, I got my new bike, as we saw last video. did the bike build video, if you haven't seen it. Got a new 2020, so the thing should be fresh as long as I keep the maintenance up to it, filters, oils, that sort of stuff. So after maintenance, obviously we'll be doing going to a lot of different tracks. Um, so on my bike at the moment, I've got this soft tire for my hard pack tracks. And then over on the edge of the van, I keep a spare wheel with a paddle tire on it. The idea behind that, why I have a paddle tire um, on that one, is go to a sand track, I can just chuck that on. I don't have to change the actual tire. I just change the wheel on and off in a couple minutes, nice and simple. Um, and then over the other side, I've got a front tire. It's the same tire on my other spare front. Just that one's if I get a flat or whatever, I can just throw it on and not have to worry about changing tubes on the day or anything like that. Another quick essential is I have um, a spare set of handlebars up here. So uh, that are the same bend as the ones I've got on the bike. So that way, if I do bend a set, I can just throw them straight on, not have to worry about trying to adjust my style or get comfy with them. So bike stuff, parts, that's pretty well it. I do have the standard levers um, and brake pedal, gear shifter, that sort of stuff. But that's about as far as I've gone with um, spares just because I don't have much room in here, obviously. Um, and if we're going away for so long, I don't want to be having to clutter through everything. If I do need something bigger, I'll just go to a local bike shop and buy it. So now swapping it over to gear. Um, I'll just carry my Atlas neck brace, run my neck brace all the time, won't really ride without it. Um, got my body armor, set of knee braces, CDI knee braces up there. I got a loaner set at the moment as I broke mine at Harvey Bay. And then I've got some, oh, heaps of unit gear up here, enough to last me about a week of riding. So when I'm riding, most of the days I don't want to be having to go to laundry mat or anything like that. So units hooked us up with enough gear so that I can go ride and just throw it in a pile for a bit and then wash it once a week or so, so that'll be sweet. Um, then my helmets, I've got them hanging up so that they can air out after a day's riding on each side. 
One helmet there, one helmet there. Ira helmets, lightest helmets in the game, and they're super comfy. So if you don't have one, definitely try one out. Um, other than, oh, and then I've got somewhere. I've got, I don't know where, but I'll have my um, Scott goggles case up in here somewhere as well. Um, other than that, that's pretty well the gear I'm taking. I've got one set of boots. Um, I throw that in with me. I definitely shouldn't wear them out in the next couple months. So that's it for my gear. Um, moving on now. All right, so barring anything big happening, uh, I think that should pretty well cover bike side of things, how I'm gonna keep training, how I'm gonna keep the maintenance up while on the road. Um, so now it goes to a bit more living stuff. I wanna sort of show you, obviously we're gonna be living out of this thing proper for two months, like I said, so how are we gonna do that? What I've got set up. So um, something I'm pretty pumped on is I just bought this hot tap instant hot water system. Um, super simple setup. So got the water system there. Obviously that goes to the shower head which is just a magnet, um, so I can hook that up wherever, and me and Michaela can shower under it. Got this rubber floor mat, which I'll just sit on the floor, rip it out. Um, that's all good, and then all it does is it hooks to my hose here, um, which I typically will gurney with, but all I've got to do is plug it in here, um, and then plug this gas line into my little gas cylinder I've hooked up here, and that's it, you're away and we can have hot showers and pretty well just live somewhat normal while we're in the van. So I'm pumped on that. Uh, moving on from there, if we don't want to shower out of that, I've got my gym bag up here with um, my foam roller and everything I sort of need in there. And we've actually, Michaela and I have signed up to Snap Fitness. So while we're on the road, we'll be able to find a Snap Fitness because they're pretty well everywhere. Um, go do a gym workout, have a shower there and then be set for the night or the, the day, whatever we're doing that day. Now, a bit more of the obvious stuff. Um, obviously, I got the quick shade. Um, we don't have an awning on the van, so that thing will be getting a heap of use. Some chairs, tables, got my fornication table set up here. Um, gurney, water drum in behind there. And in behind all of that, Michaela and I have this little port toilet thing. Um, we haven't used it. We're hoping really not to have to use it, but if we do, it's there for us. Um, moving on, what else have we got in here? Um, from there, it's pretty well a bit of fun. So Michaela and I enjoy mountain biking. Um, I made sure to fit both of our push bikes in um, and we go to all the different places. Obviously, we'll be traveling to these tracks. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of time in between coaching and riding to... Uh, go travel around the towns and just check them out sort of thing so the mountain bikes are awesome way to do that so i made sure i chuck them in got room for them quick note on that i want to give a massive thank you to emil from full force fitness and my osteo patrick um for getting my hip to a point now that where i can cycle so i've had a couple of surgeries on my left hip and i've really struggled with the range of motion to be able to run or cycle for years now and i jumped on this thing the other day and i could cycle so i'm super pumped on that Super thankful, I'm gonna keep up my hard work there and hopefully it'll help my 21 season as well. So we've toured you through the front of the van in previous videos, so I think we're um, pretty good for that. That's basically our setup. Um, we're pretty pumped on it. We've always wanted to do a little bit of travel, so now that we can work it in with a bit of my coaching, my own training, um, and do a bit of travel at the same time, we're super excited about it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the videos while we're on the road and you've enjoyed this one. Um, but that's pretty well it for us. We're going to keep working, trying to organize all this and get ready to go. All right, cheers, guys.